Uh, this weekend, uh, we've got the biggest game of the season coming up, which is Liverpool Oof. against Manchester City. Um, it's live and exclusive on Optus Sports. Bring it Phil, on. you're not agreeing with me? What, what's going on? No, no, I am. I am. I was just going, oof. <laughs> Which, yeah. is a, which is a very which is a very Spanish noise for when something's very exciting or something's big. Yeah, oof. Oh, yeah, I mean it's oh. absolutely huge, and it. I mean it's a, it's going to be a, a big indicator of where this league title might go this season. Um, Liverpool are at home, of course. Manchester City um, struggled to get going in the first forty five minutes, really against United, Liverpool, a lot of injuries. Firstly, Thomas, how big is this in the context of the league title? Um, and how do you see it going? Uh, you know, it, it obviously will play a part. I don't think it, no, it's not over and done with, you know, if Liverpool win or, or the other way around. But it's, it's going to be a fascinating game. As you said, you know, it, it's, it's going to be totally different from what they played this weekend. You know, it's going to be an open game. You know, Man City mm -hmm. will try, you know, to dominate like they always do. And, and um, you know, I, I just hope that, you know, that we'll see a slobber side, you know, Darwin Nunez starting, uh, potentially Endo, so that, so we can, you know, as, as well as Bobby Clark and, uh, Bradley d did at the weekend, like, you, you want Liverpool at, at their strongest, uh, you know, Mo Salah, you know, you, you want that, you know, those two top teams going head to head and, and let's hope we get close to that, um, because City seem to be, be coming with, with everything, um, and they have a knack for winning these games, so it's, it'll be very interesting. I'm so excited about this game. And it's not just me that's excited about this game. Let me tell you about the Spanish press, how excited they are about this game. They call, they call Liverpool Manchester City the new Clasico, which is a really oh. big thing for them to be saying, because obviously the Clasico is still the biggest fixture in world football. But Liverpool against Manchester City, that's the kind of um, pull that it has and how attractive this fixture is around the world. I don't think you can get a better, t better fixture in terms of sheer quality now i'm obviously based in spain and i love el Clasico and real madrid against barcelona it's got the history it's got the pomp it's got the grandeur the social politics as well it's a really faceted and nuanced rivalry which goes back decades this doesn't obviously but in terms of a pure spectacle i genuinely don't think you can get a a, a bigger better game than liverpool against manchester city and i'm tremendously excited because this is going to have such a big impact on the on the title race as well. It's not just that these are two really good teams playing each other. These are two really good teams. It's the top two in the division um, playing each other with eleven games to go. I mean, this is this is this is massive with a point separating them. It's um, it's a game that both teams will want to win and both teams will be desperate not to lose as well, which is set up very nicely for a draw, which Arsenal will oh, unfortunately <laughs> take advantage of, maybe. But that's the thing. It's not just these two in the title race either. You've got this third party in it, which is Arsenal. So they'll be watching on and, and seeing what happens. It just makes it fascinating. I'm, I'm, I'm already really excited for it. Thomas said he doesn't think it'll decide the title. Do you think it will, Phil? It can't decide the title yet because there's only a point between them and there still be uh, 10 games to go afterwards. So it's it's not a title decider. But, you know, if, if Liverpool win it and go um, four points clear or if City win it and, you know, take the lead for the first time in a, in a, in a very, very long time, then it's, it's a big step. But it's, no, it's not a title decider, but it is a massive, massive game. And it's the biggest game left in terms of um, what's going to impact the... Um, the title, because these are six pointers. I mean, we talk about six pointers in terms of uh, relegation, but they can also be the same in terms of the title as well. So the points that you win are the points that your opponent doesn't win as well. So not only is it City or Liverpool getting three points, it's the opponent dropping points as well, which makes it so important. I don't know. For me, it just seems like if Liverpool win, it's a huge step towards potentially winning the title. Yeah, For Manchester yeah. City winning it would only put only put them two points clear. So it's kind of like, I don't know, I just feel that with Liverpool winning, they would then get that, that breathing space. You know, Liverpool four points makes a big difference at this stage of the season. So I, I just, I'm look, I, on paper, it should be an amazing game. We have seen in the past games where it's not been particularly great because they've just nullified each other. I'd like to think this is going to be an absolute classic and... Um, without saying it's going to be El Clasico, but it'll be a classic, um, hopefully. Um, a new classic. A new yeah. classic, exactly. Did you enjoy that? There's so much more, so why not hit subscribe and download the Optus Sport app.